Okay. So okay. first we'll go ahead and start with like manual test. Okay. So each and every class I'll be recording, and once after the class is completed, I'll be sending you the recording of the class. Okay. And now first one is software. So what do you understand by a software? Software is a program that um, does a particular task that is assigned to it. Uh huh. So software is nothing but a group of statements, set of logics, and the related data that gives instructions to the system. A group of statements, set of logics, and the related data that gives instructions to the system, like what to do and how to do, is called a software. Okay. Okay. So as per the usage, this software has been described into two types. Software has been described into two types. What are they? Um, product. Product software and. Project software, product software, and project software. So, what do you understand by a product software? Product software means a software which is a developing segment. That is, group of customers is called a product software. So, let's say a Samsung Galaxy phone has developed. So, earlier they have developed like Samsung Galaxy S3. Then S4, then S5, then J6, A7, A8. That, that means the product software is always being developed. It is not that they just develop the product and they do not leave it aside. Am I right? They are always right to develop the software. Okay. So a software which is a developing segment is called a product software. Then what about the project software? Project software means what? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Ma'am, I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of background I'm, noise. Uh, I'm, I'm calling from the phone also. Uh, it's not going away. Oh, okay. So I'm asking you, what is a project software? A uh, project software. Um, yeah. No, I have no idea. Project software means a software which is a developing, uh, developing for a single client. A software. Which is a developing for a single client. So let's say you got a project in AT and T. So you'll be working only for AT and T, or you'll be working for multiple clients. Well, I'll be working for AT and T. Yes, you'll be working only for a single client, not for multiple clients. Okay. So a software which is a developing for a single client is called a project software. Okay. okay, so according to the work, there are two different types of companies available in the industry. According to the work, there are two different types of companies available in the industry. What are they? Product B uh, company. Is it clear now? Product yes, and uh, project based service company. based company. Service based. Oh. Okay. okay. Product based and service based. Now coming to a product based company. Product based company means what? So basically, a company that uh, works on developing um, and their own software. A single pro own product. Yes, sir. So a company which is mainly concentrating on developing their own software product is called a product based company example like microsoft google dell hp these are all the product based companies right okay, that means microsoft is developing microsoft products google is developing google products uh, dell is developing dell products like that microsoft dell google hp and these are all the product based companies. That means 
these are the companies which are developing their own software products they are not depending on any other company software products so that is called a product based company now coming to service based service based means what a company which is a mainly concentrating on developing individual projects to the individual clients a company right is mainly concentrating on developing individual projects to the individual clients is called as a service based company example accenture tcs csc infosys so these are all the service based that means it is providing service to some other company that means accenture is providing service to microsoft it is providing service to dell google hp they are not depending on any other company software products okay they are just providing service to some other company so basically a uh, service based company can actually provide service to some product based company yes exactly. they can do that yes that is what okay yeah that means my accenture is providing service to microsoft it is providing service to google it is providing service to hp so product based companies you call them as a clients you can call them as clients then what about client based company you call them as implementation partners you call them as implementation partners okay now yes you join a project what are the different teams that you have in every project mm, as in what consists of a project that's your question yeah whenever you join a project what are the different teams that you have in every project uh so there is the lead of the project so a project manager then we have the developing team very good uh, we yeah, have then then and testing So these are the most important teams that you have in every project. Am I right? That is correct. So what is the main responsibility of the development? Developing team is responsible for uh, creating or writing codes for the blueprint of our software. Yes, sir. Or whatever, whatever uh, the client asks them to do. Yes, so, so the yeah. main responsibility of the development team. to develop the application as per the client requirement right okay so the main responsibility of the development team is to develop the application as per the client requirement then what about the testing team right. what is the main responsibility of the testing team the main responsibility of the testing team is to test the application to verify whether this development team has developed the application as per the client requirements or not you will test yes okay we'll go ahead and test whether this development team has developed the application as per the client requirements or not okay so these are uh, yes so what they will ask you what are the main differences so you can say development team is a respective to the technology It means client will say okay, okay. i have application to be developed in java then what the developer will do they will have to develop that particular application in java right okay then so and testing team is ir ir irrespective to the technology whatever the technology it is what you have to do you have to just go ahead and test the application and development team requires more technical knowledge yes but whereas testing team requires very less technology like a very less technical knowledge you can say very less technical knowledge is required for testing team because they are not going to write any code so they require very less technical knowledge but for development team you require more technical knowledge because you have to write the code and those all things right okay. and then now tell me who is a client the clients are the product based company um 
who is uh, actually uh, giving us the project so that the service, uh, what do you call it, the service company works on basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. So client is nothing but he, it is a client is nothing but it's an organization who is providing requirements to the company. Okay, okay. client is an organization who is providing requirements to the company. Okay. development event testing team and then client is nothing but it is an organization who is providing requirements to the company so who is a company right. an organization who is working based on the client requirements yeah. right and then who is a end user the end user is uh the people who's using the, uh, uh, you know, um, software or the... End user uh, is something for the customer who is going to custom. use the application finally. So end user is something yes. for the customer. Right. Okay. Now come to different environments in a project. different environments in a project. So what are the different environments that we have in every project? Devil, if I'm not mistaken, the first, first yeah, phase the is um, the inception phase where they make the blueprint of the uh, pro, the uh, blueprint of the product that that's going to be developed then it goes to the developing phase then the testing phase then um, i i forgot the last two steps so now these are the four different environments that we have in every project now, first one is the development environment. So, what do you understand by development environment? Mm, development environment is uh, is the first phase of the um, very good. So, this is the first SDLC, I guess. This is the first uh, first environment in every project. This is the first environment in every project. So, during project. the environment development team will be involving to develop the application during this environment development team will be involving to develop the application as per the client requirements okay so after successful completion of the development what they will do they will deploy that application into testing environment deploying is nothing but to move the application from development environment to testing environment am i right yes then move the application from development environment to testing environment. So now once testing has been completed successfully in the testing environment, what they will do? They will inform the developer saying that testing has been completed successfully in the testing environment. Testing has been completed successfully in the testing environment. So now what they will do now? Once testing has they do the user um, they will inform the developer testing has been completed. Now what the developer will do, they will deploy the application again from testing to UAT. Once testing is completed, they'll go ahead and inform the developer. So now what the developer will do, they will deploy the application from uh, the testing, testing environment to UAT. to UAT environment. Yes. So in UAT, uh, in testing environment, only testing team perform testing. But whereas in UAT, that is user acceptance testing. UAT means user acceptance testing.
user acceptance testing. So here in UAT, client along with the testing team is going to perform testing on the application. In testing environment, only testing team perform testing. But here in UAT environment, client along with the testing team is going to perform testing on the application. So once testing has been completed successfully in the UAT environment, what they will do now? Again, they will go ahead and inform the developer saying that testing has been completed successfully in the testing environment. Right. In the UAT, I mean. Okay. So once testing has been completed successfully here in the UAT environment, they will inform the developer. So now what the developer will do? They will deploy the application again from UAT. From uh, UAT yeah. environment to production. Yes. They will go ahead and deploy the application again from UAT to production. Okay, so what will happen during this production environment? Directly client or end user will be involved in to use or work on the application finally. Am I right? Production is yes. able to release that application into the market so that everyone can go ahead and Okay, so that is production. So I will ask you a question. So who is going to deploy the application from one environment to another environment? The developer. Developer. Okay. So developer is the one who is going to deploy the application from one environment to another environment. Okay. Are you following Rahman? Yes, I have a question. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, so um like from my previous knowledge i i heard that uh, the business analyst does that but it's actually the developers who are deploying it right yes the developer is the one who is going to deploy the application from one environment to another environment okay all right no problem okay so today is the first class right so i will stop it here and from tomorrow join on sharp time rahman okay and you came to know how to join the session, right? Yes, ma'am. But the you know, maybe, like uh, maybe there's there still problem, problem listening. Yeah, maybe there is some problem from your mic. So make sure, like, you go ahead and uh, you know, like, join from your phone or from your iPad or something. Okay, don't join from your laptop in case if you are you are finding any difficulty. Okay, I just wanted to discuss something about like the how you're going to structure the classes. Um, so how many weeks are we thinking yeah. for the theoretical part? Yeah, uh, like see, uh, at least like uh, see, theoretical means uh, in manual testing, everything will be theoretical. We will write test cases at all. We will write it manually. But theoretical, like one or three classes, uh, almost like three to four classes, like until we finish like types of testing, software development life cycle. And once we come to software testing life cycle, and there we will go ahead and write all the test cases and this all. Manual testing is nothing but entire thing will be theory. But when we go for quality center and uh, uh, QTP, then we will do everything practical. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I will guide all you. Right. Not a problem. When you have to download the software, where you have to call everything, I will let you know step by step. Okay. And uh, one last question. How many classes a week are we do, uh, doing this? Like a four, four weeks. Monday to Friday, four weeks. Monday to Friday. Uh, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So if so, you want to do it uh, as soon as possible also, we can do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it possible for me to be excused on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Because uh, by the time I come home, it's very okay. late. We can you know, see uh, Tuesday and Thursday and we can put it on Saturday and Sunday. Yes, that works. That okay. Works. Yeah, sure. Yes. So we will not miss anything. Okay, Rahman. Okay. Okay. All so right. let's Thank start you. on sharp time. Okay. Now you came to know how to join the session. So make sure like you join yes. on sharp time. Okay. We will not waste any time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you, Rahman. Okay. Tomorrow. Have a good night. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.